Hello everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to change the old transmitter of Saga 1 L10 with a new one. There will be a situation that your transmitter is damaged or something happened for that and you need to use a new transmitter instead of the old one to operate with your Saga L10. To test the system, first we have the Saga 1 L10 with its original transmitter and we show you the operation of that. Later, we will show you how to change the other transmitter with different channel number and different ID code and match it with the new one using the copier. The first step is opening the receiver. For opening the receiver, you need to open the four screw of that. This two front screw is quite easy to open but when you go to the back side or top side when we have this white piece of plastic after you open the screw take it out a little bit with your hand and then open it a little bit more otherwise the screw will not let you to properly open the cap of the receiver so if everything is good then now we can open the receiver and see inside the receiver. So, to test the receiver, we have to put the power on that. So, we are using the wire number 1 and 2 and connect it to the power supply. Please make sure the power supply adjustment in your receiver is exactly match with your receiver and for the main power supply. Here we are using 220 volt normal wall plug system so we have to make sure that the inside of the receiver the transformer is adjusted on the 220 volt. Here we can have more details. If it is If you look at here, the place has three selection and for this particular receiver it has 48 volt, it has 220 and 380 volt. It's written on the transformer as well. So we put the plug in the right place. Now we can power up the receiver. Okay, by powering up the receiver, you will see some LED is going on over here. The LED inside shows that it has a power and LED on the RF module, which shows that we have signal and everything is okay. Later, when we are start to using the transmitter, we will see each of relay LED showing the operation of that. The next step, we put proper battery in the transmitter and start to test the receiver open the battery cap put two AA size battery in a proper place close the cap and now you can start to using the transmitter remove release the emergency stop press the start and you will see the main relay is on so now we are pressing emergency stop this is the main relay release the emergency stop then press the start the main relay is go on now we are checking each push button pressing up you see the relay over there up up first speed second speed then down first speed, second speed. You can see the relay on the left. Then for the other command, you go for the east. Yeah, here maybe we can have a better look. Go for east. East second speed.
okay now it's good then other command we will see how the operation is working is first speed west first speed west second speed is in the down 